Okay, uh, so in this lecture, we're going to talk about uh, variables and simple data types. So why do we need to, uh, to define variables, right? So the thing is uh, that we have, uh, or in our programs, we need to write some numbers, deal with numbers, uh, deal with character strings. So those are the things that we are going to use variables for to store values, to reuse them, and so on, okay? You can read the chapter goals. So what are variables? So variable is essentially a storage location on a computer, okay? On a computer or in a program, that is. So you define a variable, and when you define a variable, a space is allocated in memory for that variable, okay? And then you can uh, refer to that variable, uh, get the value, do something with it, uh, and so on, right? Use it, reuse it, change it, delete it, modify it, whatever. So essentially a variable is a storage location that you give a name to, okay? So you define a variable by giving it a name, something that you can use later. Like all of us have names, first names, last names. Similarly, you give a variable a name. Why? So you can call Mr. X, Mr. Y, Madam uh, C or whatever, right? Similarly, variables are given names so you can use them. And you can define an initial value of the variable also, okay? So for instance, so to define a variable, so how are variables defined? You must specify an initial value. So when you write something like total equals zero, so total is a variable that's defined for the first time and it's given the value zero. So assignment or equal is the assignment operator. What the compiler is getting is that zero is assigned to this thing called total. What is total? Total is a variable, okay? Then let's say uh, that's one way. Another way is that you can write total equals some other variables also. Now in this case, these variables, bottles or bottle volume need to be defined before this. So again, remember if uh, in last lecture we said programming is top down, it's coming from top down. So when you come to this, or the compiler comes to this line, total is these variables. What are these variables? They should already be defined up here having some value. Six, five, four, whatever, 2.3, whatever values these have should be defined up here, okay? So you can have a single value, or you can write an expression in mathematical terms, or you can write a an expression using variables also. Okay. Then the same name can occur on both sides. So in this case, you're updating the value of this variable total. You cannot write it for the first time, but you can change the value of variables. So what in this case is saying total, the new total is the previous total plus this, 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 whatever that expression is. Okay. So in this case, this variable needs to be defined earlier. In this case, defined earlier. In this case, there is no variable involved, so that value is assigned, okay? So that is what a variable is. And like we said earlier, you use the assignment operator, the equals to assign a value to a variable. So when you say cans per pack equals six, so cans per pack is a variable, you're giving it a value six, okay? And this is like the equal sign is not used for comparison. You cannot compare values and we will get to this in the coming lectures, but for now, focus on the assignment. A single lock equals means that you are assigning value this to this variable, right? We already saw this earlier, 
it's saying the same thing you have a variable name equals you give a value value is either hard coded you give it or you give another variable's name and in that case it has to be defined before uh, you assign 